What's up, wild people? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Alexandria Denise, and I hope you all had a really good 4th of July um, yesterday. Um, I pretty much just chilled and everything. Got some uh, deer ribs out of the freezer there and did a little bit of barbecuing. Didn't feel like doing too much here. But I went to go get some uh, shag bar hickory, and uh, that turned out pretty well. So be looking out for a video on that. But uh, yeah came out here to the garden today and um wow everything was just looking so heat exhausted i uh, should have went ahead and uh took before and afters because this is in the process of i literally just got done watering what i should have done was water them yesterday before you know all of the fireworks display and everything going on i guess it was a rise in temperature but they just were absolutely beat um I am in the process of doing this bed over. This is my uh, lettuce, my sal salad bar. And I found that this cloth actually helps a lot. I've got some new growth from um, one of the ones that I cut back, cut down under the soil here. Looks like I got some new shoots coming on that one too. So if this is surviving it, then, you know, this shade cloth here really, really helps the garden. Uh, said to block out at least 70% of the sun's UV rays from getting on it. Lettuce can be very delicate in the summertime. Got a salad bowl blend over there. Swiss chard still hanging on, but I'm going to plant some more. And uh, yeah, arugula always looking good. This is the wild variety. It's time to harvest those onions there. But even my Meyer lemon tree was looking like, oh my God, help me. So I urgently went ahead and hooked up the hose and uh did what i had to do there so they're looking pretty perky again the leaves were pretty uh wilted down so looking really really good even my watermelon here now these are close to um harvest they're like 70 days in i think my crimson sweet here has uh 85 days to harvest maybe even a little more than that so uh, I've been kind of doing a little light watering here and there and just filling the oyas. But um, yeah, my uh, watermelon leaves were wilted for the first time I've ever seen. But you can definitely see where the damage happened uh, on my cucumbers here. Some of the leaves still wilted, but they're perking back up. So I uh, went ahead and did this call out here. You'll see that uh, video soon took all that corn redid the uh, replanted or transplanted the beans there in different pots got to come out here and harvest some cucumbers that one's ready to go and got one zucchini over there too and a busy bee neighbor here I was out here watering earlier and uh, or not too long ago and it looks like he was trying to hook himself onto the water hole but blueberry is doing pretty good. This one here is such a trooper. Like, I don't have much issue out of the cucumbers over here. Like, the leaves stay full. I guess it's because it's more like in the shade. That one's kind of more so exposed to the sun, you know? But uh, they're equally doing, well, they're not equally, but they're somewhat doing pretty well over here. No, this one, it wasn't wilted, so I don't know its secret. Maybe it's got a root in the ground somewhere, taken from the groundwater, much like how my blueberries did. But uh, I don't know, that one had me suspicious. Corn doing well, that's ready to go out next week. It is starting to sprinkle here, or rain, but uh, I went ahead and watered my garden anyway because, you know, it's my responsibility to do so. It rained a little bit last night. Rained a little bit last night and uh, didn't do much else. So, at least I went ahead and got it deep watered there. But yeah, everything looking good. Bell peppers was looking kind of crazy, but they're coming in nicely. This is the store-bought variety. Like, so it's, <laughs> I said it like it was a whole variety. But you get what I'm saying, like, there is a misconception that some people say you can't grow the seeds from store-bought foods 
because the seeds have been, I don't know, cold and all that kind of stuff. And I'm here to say, yeah, you can. I got these straight from a bell pepper I had some years, uh, probably a year or so ago. And I went ahead and planted it. And this is the result. So, yeah, both of them doing pretty nicely, very nicely. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get my butt in here, do some more uh, prepping for deer season. It's coming up. So in the process of getting a lot of my stuff together, uh, figuring out what's what, what I need to do. And uh, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated.